Hello and welcome back to the Minetrack.net game server. I'm outside uh, the USS Defiant and I'm pleased to say that she is about uh, completed. Apart from uh, minor detail work and fixing little things here and there, as well as adding some detail and correcting some minor little uh, graphical issues uh, pertaining to the mirroring, like on the other side, the NX and 7410, whatever, is backwards. Um, that stuff will have to be addressed. I went ahead and spent the last couple of days just uh, going through her, trying to sort her, sort out things so you can see it needs to be fixed. Um, but for the most part, I would say uh, all the interior spaces are completed and filled in. Um, M. Heller was on earlier today and uh, we finished up these uh, revised facer strips. So I was pretty pleased about that. I also went ahead and implemented uh, the uh, Whoops. Um, see if I got. Ah, darn it. You know, I get everything all set up and then I go ahead and not use it. <laughs> um, when we're down here, I went ahead and implemented the um, airlock uh, systems. So, uh, the. Because I assume the nacelle is not pressurized, it's open to space for cooling. And, you know, you want these coils to be as cool as possible. So, it stands to reason that this area would be sealed. Um, it would be a non-atmosphere contained area so I went ahead and added airlocks uh, all over the nacelles and um, back here as well as over here so you, these ladders you see them they all lead into airlocks so in order to access these ladders you have to go through an airlock so, you know so I was kinda happy how it turned out same thing back here another airlock and then ladders and this is an airlock and reworked some of the rooms uh, fixed a few things that were um, Eh, not up to par. Added some new stuff, uh, even a couple more bathrooms. The transporter room and stuff is now in, as well as the, uh, as well as you know, you can fly really fast until you, you know, you get places, and then you don't want to do it anymore. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I'll show you first here what I did back here. I wasn't real happy with how this looked, and I mentioned in the last video I was gonna probably rework it while well, I did and get up in here Doo -doo. come on there we go I wasn't real happy with how it looked so I went ahead and reworked this uh, this boarding area cleaned it up a little bit added some more details I added a emergency shower made this like a little uh, containment area cleaned this room up quite a bit made it look a lot nicer a lot more flushed out um, I think the turbo lifts up here went through and added a little bit of lighting here and there so that uh, areas of the ship that were really really too dark to uh, see and we have to assume most people don't use gamma bright so yeah we all use it on the server but uh, some people don't use it so I had to go back through and fix some of that so people could actually get on here and look around without being blinded or being blinded by how dark it is um, not a real fan of this what the huh I wonder what happened in here. I know I put uh, a roof in here. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> Somebody must have removed it. Um, it. This is one of those rural areas that I'll have to fix again because I know it had a roof. Because um, I, I remember doing it when I did that one. So, yeah, yeah well, I'll fix it. No, no skin off me. Um, actually, I want to show you. What do I want to show you? I want to show you the uh, bio lab kind of miss me, you know, because I know that had a roof on it. What if this one over here has a roof on it? No. That really bugs me. <laughs> I'll fix that here before, uh... <sighs> you know, I thought it was done. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you're never done. <laughs> Anyways, here's the science medical lab. I added a uh, little uh, bathroom room here as well as for the sick bay area right here. They needed it. Um, they didn't have it to re originally, so and they're not even on the deck plan. So I figured better put them in here to be on the safe side. I'm sure um, you know somebody like Mad comes on, they'll f add some more details and f some more things in here. But for the time being, I just put what was in the deck plans right here. Um, this is the mess hall. It's a lot bigger than it is on the show, that's for darn sure. I also added a uh, restroom area in here as well. 
and I also put in the transporter room complete with doohickey back here so you can work on it um, and that's pretty much all I've done um, you know that does kind of bug me that that ceiling uh, the ceiling there uh, got lost um, hmm how should we do that? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and just uh, do it standardized. Yeah. So, first I will do all this. Yeah, I remember doing this beforehand. So, it, it must have, I don't know, must have just been one of those things, you know, it didn't, didn't pan out, so... Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But it feels kind of nice to actually have uh, the Defiant finally. Well, you know, we can we can for the most part check this ship off of our list of uh, of uh, projects that are open and needing uh, needing attention. Um, you know, uh, it's like the, the the Steam Runner, of course. Um, you know, you never ever ever really done with a build you know you just do what you can and and then uh, work on it from there but um, uh, and hope <laughs> you hope that you uh, you get them done eventually but as new blocks come along you know different styles um, creep up and we want to you know you go back and you revamp stuff and then after a couple of months you come back you visit a build um, you realize some things don't look right and you fix them so it's the revision part of the uh, process kicks in and and you're pretty much good to go at that point so uh, you and you and stand the door actually don't need to stand the door just go Actually, I can't stand in the door. Actually, let's do it from over here. Yeah, yeah. And we better do it from a corner. Just be on the safe side. Copy. Copy, copy, copy. I'm so used to playing STO, my fingers automatically go to uh, different keys for different functions. <sighs> so, I don't play... Uh, uh, Minecraft for a while. I, I get all my function keys and stuff get all messy. And if I don't screw it up too much, it should just paste right in. Bingo! Alright, then all I have to do is fix these. You know, and the thing is, I just saved the build a second time because I went to record this and I found a whole section of the uh, of the an area that uh, got screwed up and I had to go fix it so I just saved it again and then I'm showing the video here and I walk in there and it's not done Ugh, frustration oh well but uh, yeah the uh, the level of detail that was put into this by uh, Mad Squirrel, um, M. Heller, myself and whoever else helped out on her has really, really surpassed our expectations. I would honestly have to say that this and the Voyager have been uh, some of the more complicated builds we've worked on. Um, the D, I don't really work on as much. Uh, that's usually Impeller, Loki, and Blue uh, Blue Goblin, or Blue Phobes. Excuse me, sorry about that. There's Blue Goblin, there's Blue Phobes. Blue Phobes is more active. He's the guy that uh, works a lot on the Cobra head and a lot on the dip issue that was um, with the Enterprise. Um, D. He's also helping me out over on the Saber build, and he actually flagged me the other day about an issue, and I was glad he did, because uh, it was a good catch on his part. Um, I completely and utterly, um, uh, I was like, oh, he wanted to add a new room to the ship. I was like, well, let me show, see what you got, what you have in mind, and then um, he showed me, and I was like, oh, heck yeah, that's a good idea, better do that, because, uh, you know, and it's, it's things like that that when people, because Blue, you know, wasn't known for for uh, being around to work on projects um, past the Enterprise D issue, and it's nice to see see him on and actually stepping up and doing some of the work and stuff. So, hope he stays active because it's it's good having active people on the server. Um, people come and go; that's life. 
you know, people find new addictions, um, you know, it's, it is just what it is, you know, we are, we are actually creatures of, of habit, and, you know, for me, I, I enjoy working on the ships, uh, I get burned out occasionally, and then I go and I do something else for a while, and then I come back and work on projects, and, and so on and so forth, I'm only going to do one side of the room, I don't need to do both sides, but, um, uh, you know, coming back and then I talking to you, Mel, I was like, um, I could tell that he really wanted to get, uh, get some of these bills out of the way, especially the Defiant, because it was so close to being done and just abandoned. Um, I don't think it was really abandoned, as it just people, the steam ran out, you know, the pressure dropped off, not pressure, but, um, well, yeah, you know, like a boiler, the pressure bled off and, um, people, you know, started working on other projects or moved on to different games and, you know, it is what it is, you know, it just, it got put to the side and it needed to get finished, so I came in and worked with him and worked with him, Heller, and did a lot of uh, free time stuff on it and got her done. Um, I'm pretty happy. I hope one day that we can have a version of it landed with the landing gear down and everything else about behind it, but that's uh, way out there. Hopefully, um, I can get together with Blue uh, Phobes and we can come up with like a shot list and do a real proper, uh, you know, display video of this old gal here. Old gal, she's uh, the newest completion on the server. <laughs> She is a good-looking ship. Matt Score really did a nice job on all the detail work he did on her. I mean, absolutely. Just nailed it out of the park. There's no way this build could have been accomplished as rapidly as it has been. I mean, six months, nine months as we've been working on it. And uh, a lot of that's just because of people like Matt, DeBaum, I Panic, uh, a bunch of the other guys that have helped out. I'm sorry, I don't know um, the entire crew roster on this. But um, yeah, it's there are a lot of contributors to this build, and it is really nice to see them, see it, see it come all the way from just a, a imported hull that Impeller had done to um, an actual completed ship. So it's as you know, like I said, apart from some minor detail stuff uh, pertaining to naming and decaling, um, and maybe some stuff on the inside that I may have missed or some changes and things that may need to be added that uh, we've all missed. She is uh, pretty much done. I'd, I'd rate this as about 95% at this point being done. It is a good looking ship. I mean, when you get inside of it, you know, uh, on the show they showed as this really small cramped space, but when you get inside this ship you realize it has a lot of room in it. It's got a lot of, a lot of little nooks and crannies and little hiding areas. Um, a lot of little Easter eggs if you really want to come on here and just spend the, spend a good couple of hours touring the ship. Um, there come there are quite a few little Easter eggs you can find on there. I like to uh, um, when I'm building and stuff like that. I like to utilize all the space that I can. If I can't utilize it, I like to put something in it. And if I can't do that, then um, you know I usually leave it for something to do later on. But there are a few areas in the ship that um, have some really nice. Uh, detail work and Easter eggs and if you can find them good luck um, have fun it's all part of exploring the vessel and again uh, this is the defiant build on the mindtrack.net game server uh, this has been a community build from the start to finish and I would say at this point she is about 95 percent completed I do appreciate you taking the time to watch and hope to see you on the uh, mindtrack.net game server and if not, um, at least come by and like us on our Facebook page or uh, swing by the forums and leave us a post on ideas, suggestions, anything else. And I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.